A source confirms to ET that Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet are dating. It's new and exciting for Kylie. That's what it is to be young. Like many people on TikTok, Kylie Jenner has been enjoying the app's plethora of filters to learn a little bit more about herself. The beauty mogul jumped at the chance to try out the trending red flag filter, which tells users exactly what is wrong with them and then writes it above their heads for everyone to see. They're mostly meant to be the sort of red flags that can end a relationship, and some fans wonder if these are subtle TikTok messages directed at her rumored beau, Timothy Chalamet. Well, if you are not aware, there is new evidence that Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet may indeed be dating, and some fans are not entirely amused by that. On April 13th, one of the cosmetics mogul's luxury cars, a black Range Rover, was spotted outside the actor's Beverly Hills mansion. In photos obtained by DailyMail.com, Kylie's car was seen driving up Chalamet's winding driveway. However, the snaps don't show Jenner. Chalamet's home is about an hour away from the model's lavish Holmby Hills estate. Having dreams about a girl on a rackus. Ever since Zendaya and Timothy were cast in the sci-fi movie Dune in 2019, fans have been obsessed with the possibility of them becoming friends and most likely more. Even though they initially sparked romance rumors after working together, the pair have proved that they're nothing more than besties. But some believe they deserve to be happy together, and that's why Kylie hanging around him is pissing off Zendaya fans. After filming concluded, Zendaya and Timothy were spotted out together by a few lucky fans in New York City, and immediately, romance rumors started swirling. Since then, the former Disney Channel star and Lady Bird actor have shut down relationship rumors, but both of their fans are hell-bent on the fact that they are definitely more than friends. In fact, they reflected on their friendship and working together during Zendaya's December and January 2021 Elle magazine cover story. The two looked back on the dance parties that the Shake It Up alum hosted in her room and recalled their favorite parts about filming. I had a great freaking time. I felt like such a badass just wearing that suit and walking around on these beautiful rock formations, Zendaya gushed. It felt cool and so exciting to be part of the magic. In September 2021, they made some magic of their own on the Venice Film Festival red carpet. It's been such a beautiful experience out here. We keep trying to remind each other to take in the moment, look around and feel this because this is such a special time, Zendaya told Access at the time. There's so much love already. Do you still believe they are just friends? I honestly doubt that. The former Disney Channel star even gushed over her co-star's fashion sense. Cool ringtone. I change ringtone all the time. Bella has some crazy ringtone. She changes her like every day. I mean, you can wear anything. He's like the cool guy. Boom. Zendaya gushed in the same interview. What do you want? Glasses on the carpet? Boom. What do you want? Sparkle? Do you want floral? Do you want color? Whatever you want. Whatever you need. Got it. Boom. Timothy, for his part, referred to Zendaya as number one in the world when it comes to fashion. I was the only other person closer to his age on the cast, so he was like, awesome, someone who understands my jokes. He's obviously a very talented actor, but just a wonderful person and a good friend to have, Zendaya told British Vogue in September 2021. Especially in this industry, it's nice to have other people who are going through it too and that you can talk to. And just like Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, every single fan of theirs was looking forward to Timothy and Zendaya coupling up, and it's easy to see why. And that's why they are raging at Kylie for wanting to break them up. Kylie and Chalamet were photographed together for the first time at the actor's home in Beverly Hills on June 1st. In photos published by the Daily Mail on two separate days, the pair are seen walking side by side while holding hot drinks. Sources tell the outlet that Kylie has been spending plenty of time at Chalamet's house, for upwards of six days a week. Sometime in mid-May, Kylie and Timothy were reportedly enjoying a casual relationship away from the spotlight. A source told Entertainment Tonight that the two were casually seeing each other and that they've been trying to keep it low key. Meanwhile, a People Insider added that Kylie still prioritizes parenting above all else. Kylie enjoys dating, but her main focus is being a mom. Their relationship is not serious, the insider added. They are becoming more comfortable with each other, but Kylie wants to take things day by day and see where it goes, says the ET source. Her family thinks it's great that Kylie is doing her thing and they are supportive. Timothy loves that Kylie is such a hands-on mom and a boss. The insider continues, he appreciates her confidence and thinks she's incredibly beautiful. The source added that Kylie's ex, Travis Scott, hasn't been happy with the new relationship, but is putting co-parenting first. Travis is not thrilled about Kylie moving on, but they are still cordial and focused on co-parenting and being the best parents they can be.
And again, sometime in April, another insider revealed that Kylie's romance with Chalamet was new and exciting. They are keeping things casual at this point. It's not serious, but Kylie is enjoying hanging out with Timothy and seeing where it goes, the source added. It's been really fun for her because it feels a lot different than her past relationships. It's new and exciting for Kylie and she's having a lot of fun. Though some fans speculated that the two would go public during Coachella, the insider explained why that didn't happen. Kylie decided she didn't want to make things public with Timothy this past weekend at Coachella and really just wanted to chill and have fun with her friends. The source additionally noted that big sister Kendall Jenner might have helped orchestrate their relationship. Timothy is also friends with Kendall, so it's been easy for Kylie to integrate him into her life, the source said. The two met in person for the first time in January when they attended the same Jean-Paul Gaultier fashion show during Paris Couture Week. A video of them laughing together at the show was published by the celebrity gossip Instagram account Du Moi. They also attended Vanity Fair's 2023 Oscars after party in March, but were not seen or photographed together. Prior to their meetup, several outlets reported that Kylie had broken up with Travis Scott after the holidays in late 2022 or early 2023. The two began dating in 2017 and shared two children, daughter Stormy, five, and son Ari Webster, one. Meanwhile, Don't Look Up star Chalamet was previously linked to actresses Isa Gonzalez, Lily Rose Depp and Lords Leon, and fan favorite Zendaya. Sometime in January 2020, after they wrapped shooting on the sci-fi film, romance rumors between the two started swirling after Timothy and Zendaya were spotted shopping together at one of New York City's Bed Bath & Beyond locations. At the time, fans took pics with the actors and posted them on social media. Both were bundled up in multiple layers as they entered the store, and Timothy even tried on one of the workers' sunglasses for an adorable photo. Months later, in September 2020, things stayed pretty quiet between Zendaya and Timothy until he shut down any past romance rumors via Twitter when wishing his friend a happy birthday on September 1, 2020, but their fans didn't believe it and insisted the duo were just denying what was too open to hide. Happy birthday to one of the most inspiring people I've met on my short journey. Someone with the strongest ethical character and a moral compass that is in harmony with a totally fearless creative abandon. Happy birthday at Zendaya. Hope your day is beautiful, friend, he wrote on Twitter at the time. Zendaya responded, revealing that his message made her tear up and gave fans more of an insight into their friendship. I appreciate you very much, the actress wrote. The same month, the first Dune trailer was released on September 9th and fans watched as Zendaya and Timothy sharing a steamy smooch as their characters, Chani and Paul. By the way, have you watched the movie? If you haven't, it's not too late. Then in November 2020, Zendaya graced the cover of Elle's December-January 2021 issue and opened up to Timothy about their movie, her historic Emmy Awards win, and the future of Euphoria. I'm so happy for you. I was screaming over here when I saw it. When you had just gotten the nomination, I remember us talking about what it was going to be like in this environment, not having an in-person ceremony. But you killed it, Timothy said about her Emmy's win. Zendaya recalled the moment her name was called. Everybody was there and screaming as my family does. We are a very loud family and I was worried that they were going to be screaming for too long and the little clock would start ticking and I'd be like, ah, thank you, and then it would be over. Then in December, Zendaya celebrated Timothy's birthday on the 27th with a sweet Instagram stories tribute. It's an honor to watch his talents at work, but even more of an honor to be able to call him a friend, the actress wrote. Essentially, he's the shit. Hope it's a beautiful one. Do you still think these two adorable people are just besties and that Kylie can have her way with Timothy? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.